It is no secret our city has seen a lot of gun violence this year. So tonight we want to take a moment to highlight some of the Hoosiers who are working every single day in an effort to make our city safer. Tonight our Jenny Runovich introduces us to someone preventing crime and supporting neighbors through his haircutting skills. Well, let's be honest, this is a neighborhood where if you don't live here, you probably try to avoid. But there's an Indianapolis man making a point to be here, and that's making a difference. Look up for me a little bit. Cutting hair as a crime prevention tactic may sound unorthodox, but Adrian Bernie is more than a barber. What school are you going to? Arsenal Tech. He's a healer helping young men in underserved neighborhoods open up. So how far are you going to take this basketball thing? And see possibilities beyond their current circumstances. Just uh, use it to get your education, man. If you know, if nothing, if nothing less. I have an opportunity to get alongside of them and begin to get to know them and, you know, kind of create that safe space for them to unpack um, any type of things that they want to unpack. Bernie's nonprofit, Mended Arrows Academy of Barbering, gives free therapy cuts in schools, at boys and girls clubs, and here at a pop up tent in an apartment complex known more for shootings than a shave. So, where are you going to live when you get older? Actually, I'm mm. playing on like. Moving my mom out of here. Mm. My grandma. All right. To a different state. Mm. I don't know. Bernie uses the intimate setting of a barbershop to drop wisdom and create connections without judgment. A lot of them don't have anybody to see them. We don't see them as a person. So connecting with that humanity part of them and then helping to bring out the best of them by first connecting with them by saying, I see you. He'll be able to expand that mission with a $70,000 elevation grant just awarded to Mended Arrows. Your choices is everything. More barbers, more locations, more haircuts and conversations. Get caught up. All meant to uplift, empower, and curb crime, one haircut at a time. All right, man. In Indianapolis, Jenny Runovich, yep. 13 News. Yeah, Minded Arrows isn't the only grassroots group to get money from the Indianapolis Foundation. In fact, six different organizations received the latest round of elevation grants totaling nearly $800,000. Becky can learn more about all those recipients. We've got it posted right now on WTHR.com.